Hi, I'm Mari from the Thompson Nicola Regional Library. Today, I'm going to share a website we use all the time at the library, Fantastic Fiction. Fantastic Fiction is a UK-based website that you can access from anywhere and doesn't require a library card. Fantastic Fiction centers on authors rather than individual books, which makes it really useful for making sure you've read everything by an author you love, checking the order of a series you're reading, or keeping an eye on what's upcoming for new books. To use Fantastic Fiction, all you need is a web browser. The website is www.fantasticfiction.com. Fantasticfiction.com. Fantastic Fiction lets you browse new and upcoming releases, new authors, authors by country, or authors by their year of their birth, or by genre. There are a few ways to use the search bar which can be found on the upper right of the home page and throughout the website in the same place. You can search by author which is the main way to search. Fantastic Fiction has a great autofill feature so start typing the name of the author you're looking for and then you can select from the list that comes up below. This will help ensure you have the right spelling of the author's name. Once you open an author's page you'll see a biography of the author, the genres they write within, upcoming works, and the date and format of their publication, series they've written, standalone novels they've written, awards their work have received, books they recommend, and other authors that visitors to this page also looked at. It'll also show you if the author has a spouse, children, or other family members who are writers and link to those authors so you can see if you're interested in their works as well. Many authors write under other names and those are noted under the AKA category with their name. Another way to search on Fantastic Fiction is to search a book by its title. From the search bar on the upper right, type the book title. This will bring up any books with the title you're interested in. Review the list to find what you're looking for. In the list, you'll see the titles, author's name, and publication date, which will help you find the specific book you're looking for. On the page for each individual book, you'll see any alternative titles for the book, the publication date, the author, awards won by the book, a synopsis of the book, where to purchase copies of the book, and the different editions of the book, including hardcover, paperback, and audio. These dates can be very useful if a friend somewhere else has read the book and you can't find it here yet. You can also see when audiobook versus print editions were put out and any alternative covers for the book. Another thing that's really useful on Fantastic Fiction is the ability to check to see what titles and what order a series has been published in or the author has intended it to be read in. When you get into the series page, you'll see the order of the series. This might be by publication date or series order, depending on how the series was published. You'll also see if any titles were changed when the book was published in a different location, as well as a variety of the covers, which is helpful if you're trying to remember if you've read the book before or not. Another reason to search a series, other than just confirming what order the series goes in, is series that are written by multiple contributing authors. For example, this Star Trek series has several hundred books in it, and in that series there are multiple small series, and many of them are written by different people. So when you scroll down the page, you can look and see which titles you're looking for and when they were published. You can use Fantastic Fiction without an account, and you can use it to find all of the information that I've mentioned here. If you'd like to keep track of what you're reading, you may want to create a Fantastic Fiction account. Just remember this account isn't linked to the library account, so you will have to use them as separate websites. To create an account, click sign up in the very, very upper right corner of the website. You'll need your name, email address, and a password. Once you've entered those into the sign in form, Fantastic Fiction will email you to verify your account details. Once you've clicked the verification link in the email, you'll be able to sign in using the sign in button on the upper right corner. From inside your account, you can see authors you're following, books on your wish list, books you've read, and recommendations once you've got a few authors or titles saved. This can help you track your reading and books. Fantastic Fiction puts your wish list books in date order of when they're being published so you know what to keep an eye out for. When you've signed into your account and you're scrolling around the website and you found a book you'd like to add to your wish list to read in the future, under the main photo of the book cover you can click add to wish list if you'd like to read the book. If you've already read the book, you could click add to my books. Under an author's photo on their page, you can also click the follow this author link to add this author to your account so you can more easily find out about their current and upcoming books. If you need help using Fantastic Fiction or would like us to put something you found on hold for you, 
You can reach us by email at questions at tnrd.ca, q-u-e-s-t-i-o-n-s at tnrd.ca, or by phone at 250-372-5145. Happy reading!